Welcome back to Factorio and SpaceX Mod and me, JD, and that's about all the welcomes I got for this episode. So, thanks for research. Let's tick that one off so it's just done. Um, Alright, now that the tutorial half of this series is over, let's do some minor changes around the place. Uh, we want to... Uh, and actually, we want you to be a requester chest, and we want you to say space science. All the space science. Uh, I want another one of them in my inventory, and I want some long hand inserters. And let's go through the basics of SpaceX. So, SpaceX is a mod for Factorio. Um, although I haven't really put the mod list for this series in the description yet hopefully i'll remember to do it for this episode um mods wise th there's been a couple installed right for square one you know you see this list on the left hand side it's been one of them um and no um which actually we need to pick up just a bit of that And left click to make this go up higher. Done. So, um, all right. First off, we put a buffer. Well, first off, I put a buffer chest in because that's pretty important to have. Um, because you never, ever, ever want to launch your satellite um, if this chest is not. If there is not room to output, if this is less than, let's go with 5,000, because they do stack to 1,000, so 5,000 is quite a bit of science. Um, Alright, so, um, SpaceX, SpaceX, let's start with a tech tree. So SpaceX starts off with Space Assembly, um, which lets us do Assembly Robots. Uh, designed to operate in rigors of space using the dry dock assembly component. Then we do space construction. Unlock the space dry dock facility as required for the construction of an interstellar vessel. Uh, oh, hang on. Enables orbital, orbital assembly mo of multiple components. Uh, dry dock. The dry dock is the command module responsible for assembling the various components of the spaceship. And the dry dock structural component. Uh, the structure of the dry dock used for containing the spaceship whilst it's being assembled. Uh, then we've got a hull component. Uh, we have a protection field. Uh, a fusion reactor. Now, these are all things I actually have to launch. So I have to launch a hundred portable fusion reactors, I believe. No. I need to launch the fusion reactor item being this a couple of times in a space. Uh, space thrusters being thrust provided space below the light speed maneuvering. Sounds simple. Um, same story. I'll need to launch multiple thrusters into space. So it'll be a special item which will have to go into the rocket silo and be launched. Uh, fuel cells... Yep, you can see some of these items are getting pretty expensive. Um, life support. Yep. Command. Speed modules, efficiency modules, productivity modules, plastic bars, processing units. Command controls are now referred to as the bridge. Hopefully I only need one of them. Uh, provides... Oh, safe navigation at high, at fast and light speeds. Again, hopefully I only need to launch one of them. Uh, then we got fast and light technology, which is just a technology that we need to research before we get to the fast and light drive, which, as you can see, is slightly expensive. Um, so yeah, SpaceX requires a lot of research and a lot of launches. A lot, a lot. And I'm going to try and do something different. I'm going to try and keep 
everything bus based. Um, which is going to be interesting to say the least. Uh, I have no idea actually how how well it will pull off uh, being bus based. Uh, I don't need that blueprint, but I do need that blueprint. Uh, nope! Because I rearranged them. Damn. Okay. Right, we're going to have to... No. That's the one that destroys trees. We're going to have to rip that up. And rip up that Roboport. And put that down. Because I actually need productivity modules, believe it or not. Uh, not productivity modules. Um, efficiency modules as part of this build. So we wait for the bots to come play stuff. And then we actually need to try and get things running, basically. Um, come on, bots. And I need to request all the efficiency module ones and twos that are in existence to feed them back into the system. Uh, you're a three. And oh, I might have broken the RoboPort network, so I'll put you back. Come on, bots. What you doing? Come place this stuff. Like now. Like I'm actually getting bored of waiting. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, mark two. Mark three. Okay. You can have... Nope. Uh, you can have those, and you can have that, and all right. So we leave that. That's now running. That's making efficiency module threes ever so slowly. Um, we have a petroleum problem, which we're going to run up here and fix. And I still want more robo ports. Actually, let's just run on the iron belt for a little bit. Uh, okay. Oil refinery. Right in front of the train. Hope not to get run over. Oh, really, JD? You put a water pipe in the middle. Um. So yeah. I I want to do a tutorial series, and and let's be honest. You know, I I. I wasn't racing through it. This was definitely not a speed run. But still, I, I finished a normal Factorio playthrough in... What was it? However many episodes it was. I can't remember now. I only just finished it. Um, Thirty-six? Thirty-six? One day, fifteen hours, roughly. Which is a little bit ridiculous um, and no denying it's a little bit ridiculous I've sort of played the game a few times by now um, so a standard playthrough it's, it's, it's just not that challenging to be honest uh, okay let's put a RoboPort there and then we're going to need another one over here Alright, so you're now all in range. Except I still... Really? Bots, bring me, bring, bring me underground pipe. Because I still need to get this water pipe through the middle somehow. And I need to make some refineries. Uh, it seems I don't have stone brick. Bring me brick, bots. Bring me brick. Mm. 
that didn't really work. Nope, can't loop it in a single bound. Uh, come on, let me through, let me through. Uh, done. Alright, so that's water for cracking, which is now happy and running. Uh, we just need a lot more refineries. Uh, you are hooked up, you are running, everybody's happy. Uh, yep, still no, no liquids in the pipes, that's a good sign. Sort of. Um, except one thing I haven't been happy with for a while, is this is not pressurized on the output. So, and I know I just deleted like 1,000 petroleum, but I frankly don't care. Uh, put a tank. We're going to put a tank here. We're going to put a pump there. Oops. Okay, fine. You can have power too. Uh, I want a outflow pump. Where have my pumps gone? Right there. I want a pump there. I want a separate pump here. Nope. I want a separate pump there. Uh, join you two up. And power. And then I want to disconnect that pipe there. And... Alright, be stubborn. A bit of straight pipe there, there, and there. Alright. So that's split our petroleum into this is plastic, this is acid. Two separate builds, or separate petroleum builds. Um, we need to make more of these, obviously. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Done. All right, and can the bots, the bots can take care of that. Cool. All right. So that's that done. Research is ticking away. Um, we still don't have enough petroleum, but at least our plastic is backed up again. Um, because we're going to start launching rockets in a big way. Um, actually, one mod I am going to install or add to is the upgrade planner. Now, I've never actually played with the upgrade planner. I've seen it in action multiple times, um, but I've never physically played with it. And I've got some efficiency modules I need to get rid of. Uh, down there. Um, I did request brick. There it is. Because I never increased the size of this. Well, that didn't last long. Uh, and I did want a second fusion reactor. Aha. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm going to put on the upgrade planner uh, mod. Because... Frankly, I, I've I've done my fair share of upgrading belts. Um, you've seen me upgrade some belts in the tutorial series, and yeah, upgrading belts is is really high on my list of fun things to do. So I want one more battery, two more rover ports, one lot of legs, one lot of legs, all those. Cancel that. No. Uh, nope. What do I have? I don't have enough steel. And batteries. Okay, cancel that. Build one of them. I now don't have enough of everything. Don't have blue circuits. Build another one of them. Uh, they can go to the rubbish bin. 
Now I wanted battery batteries which require batteries and maybe that's all I need. Nope. We've got the processor units. Steel it must be. Yep. And I'm guessing steel again. Okay, so that's my armor complete. Um, you need radars. So we're going to go up to make everything. We're going to add radars. Um, like I said, I, I want to try and keep this this game belt based. Um, only because it seems a little bit outrageous, a little bit insane. And that seems interesting to me. Uh, you guys can go into the trash slots. You can go away, you can go away, you can go away. Uh, you can go away, you can go away. Oh, I don't know what to do with the speed modules just at the moment. You can go away, you can go away. Plastic can go away. Um, Alright, radar needs. That's really easy to do, actually. Nope, I don't have any of those left. Uh, is it? Is it? Maybe it's not. Um, because our gears stop here, because I made lights. Don't really need lights. Actually, you can go there. Uh, I will put another rover port like here. Great. Uh, I need a tier 3 assembler because that's all I've got. You are going to make radars, sir. We're going to give you a red chest output. Uh, that input, that input. And that input, and we're going to say, you, hey, when we're down to, uh, actually, you know what, they just don't end up back in the network that often. Uh, and power pole, there and there. Actually, you know what, we'll do that, just in case we end up adding something else to this make everything. Oh, unconnect, done. All right, uh, robots, robots, excellent. Uh, you can go in the trash, you can go in the trash. Uh, you can go in the trash. Um, how is the oil problem? So the oil, oil is good. The petroleum is better. The light oil is fully backed up. I think I need, I definitely need more cracking for light oil. Um, was not quite expecting it to have to scale this big. Um, Alright, make a chemical plant. We'll see whether we can squeeze this shit in somehow. Oh, go away, go away. Uh, now it can be crafted. And then I need how many pipes? I just need a two gap. Yeah, we should be able to squeeze that in just. Uh, no. I need a four gap. One, two, three, four. Yeah, too far. Alright. Plan B. What is plan B, you ask? Well, plan B is where you get a blueprint and you rip up every... Well, you blueprint everything. As is. You go, yep, I'm happy with that. And then you rip up everything. Because it just didn't work. Uh, then you step it back down. And now hopefully it works. Uh, put that there. That'll be our water connection. You'll be our light oil connection. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to underground those two pipes just so I've got a hope of walking through the middle. Uh, really? Give me back. 
my cam plant, please. Uh, now, of course, you don't line up because we moved everything over just a smidge. Uh, nope. There to there to there to there. Okay, so we're pumping petroleum out. You're in the way and you're in the way. Let's solve that problem. Uh, Roverport. Oh, you're already hooked up. Alright, so we're going to put a Roverport there. Nope. There, obviously. Uh, power pole here. Uh, copy and paste that. Uh, pipes. Uh, I'm going to go there to there. Plus there to there. Straight pipe. Into there, into there. Underground there to there. Uh, underground. No, can't make it all the way in one hit, but that's fine. Uh, and power pole there. Alright. Hopefully this works. There to there, there to there. And blueprint time. Those three. Whoops. That's a boo-boo. Alright, where's that blueprint? No pipes at this end, please. Uh, Roboport. Damn Roboport. Uh, thank you. Let's get the Kavorax treatment. Uh, and of course a power pole for our pump, which is probably fully backed up in petroleum. Uh... Right, products finished is ticking over. Excellent. You are going up. Up. You're going up as well. Really? Do I have to double it again? That's a little bit ridiculous. How many active refineries do we have? Oh, well, Petroleum's going to back up in a minute. All right. Um, so what have we got done in this episode? Not a lot. Not a lot at all. Um, apart from space science is now at least being automatically produced. And why are you not auto-launching? Did I screw up the circuit condition? That would be horrible. Uh... Auto launch with cargo. That's why. All right. Well, look, we'll call that here for this episode. Um, yeah, like I said, I want to keep everything bot based, uh, belt based. Um, thank you. Two out of seven. Two out of seven. We got five more to go. Um, I did build. I built these. That's right. I built these so I could request in some speed modules. All the speed modules. Really? That's a lot of chemical plants. I'm guessing I did end up automating them. Uh, because we want rockets to go fast. Uh, 
Alright, let's just start at least. Uh, power. 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 Do I have those speed modules? Come on, bots, bring me speed modules. Pick up 48. Yeah, we're going to use speed modules to offset the um, horribly slow speed of the rocket silo. You know, we're not producing materials fast enough, but that's one step at a time. Uh, and now, because we're going to go with the joy of beacons, we're going to have to look at our power situation. Because these half a dozen beacons we've already put down chew a lot um, compared to everything else. Uh, and with that, they now chew even more. Beacons, yep, 7.6 megawatts worth of power. Um, so yeah, look, we're going to end it here for this episode. Um, we're going to have to have a good strong look at our power situation, our giant coal-eating machine situation. Um... They all look to be empty. You know, it says expected. Oh no, blank expected resources. Yeah, they are empty. Um, our coal, our coal patch is definitely diminishing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to look at solar. We're gonna have to look at nuclear. We're gonna actually have to start processing nuclear, which we haven't even done yet. Um, there's gonna be a lot of things we're gonna have to do in the next couple of episodes. Um, but that is half the fun of SpaceX. It actually forces you to go beyond the basic game. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we'll put on the upgrade planner and we'll play with the upgrade planner and start upgrading some of the main belts of the whole base because there's lots to be done. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Um, as always, on the on the end cards, you'll find on the left-hand side the subscribe button and the Patreon link. And on the right-hand side, you will find a link to this playlist, which is different from the tutorial playlist because the tutorial is officially ended and this is all about SpaceX now. And a random video from the YouTube gods that hopefully you'll enjoy. Thank you, very, thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. All right, bye!